In this video, I'm going to share the 10 reasons why to open an Etsy shop in 2022. And I'm also going to share three reasons why not to as well. As an artist or creative, it can often be really confusing to know exactly where to start out selling your artwork or art products online. What should you do? There are so many options available out there right now. So where do you start? And of course, you can waste hours of your time and oodles of your hard-earned cash building, creating, designing a website when perhaps you're not quite sure exactly what you're going to be selling yet. And even if you have got the website up, it's likely taking you maybe a few weeks or months to get it to that point of launching. You launch it and then nobody comes along and you don't make any sales. Now, whilst this route won't be for everybody today, it will be for some of you. And for some of you, I'm hoping it's going to be the place to start, get on and start selling that art so that you can head towards making a real living from your creativity. Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophie and I help artists just like you to set up and grow a successful, profitable business doing what you love built around your existing art practice. Now, if you like tips and tricks on how to build that profitable business, then you're in the right place because that's exactly what I share on this channel. So and why not subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, as I already mentioned, there's a big reason to stay right to the end of this video because I know that a lot of you are skeptical. You've heard a lot of reasons why not to be on Etsy. It's like, it's really hard. It's a big marketplace. There's too many people out there. It's saturated. People's shops get closed down. All of the things, all right? Stay to the end of the video as I am gonna share with you the three reasons I believe you would not want to be starting your Etsy shop right now in 2022. But in the meantime, are we ready to get stuck in on those 10 reasons why starting your Etsy store right now as an artist would be a good idea. And of course, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you already have a store or whether you're thinking of opening one. Number one, if you've discovered that your target audience is already on Etsy, they're looking, they're saving and they're shopping, then that's the perfect reason for you to be there too. Now we talk a lot about how to find your target audience, so don't forget to check out this key video to help you discover where they are. Once you've discovered where they are, that's exactly where you want to be, right? So that number one reason for opening the Etsy store would be if your audience is already there. So you're there and they're over here. It doesn't make any sense, right? You want to be in the same place. Reason number two, you're just starting out. You don't want to build that website yet, or you haven't got the time or the finances. Etsy is a great place to start out if you're brand new to selling your artwork or your art products online. Reason number three you might want to start an Etsy shop and that is you have a lot of potential listings. So i.e. you're that artist that has a stockpile of originals, prints, online designs, loads of ideas, perhaps lots of options, lots of products, lots of things lying around and you're thinking, goodness me, if I just collated all of these and put them online, I'd have an instant shop, right? Then that is the perfect thing for you. Etsy would be a great place for you to get started. Reason number four to start an Etsy shop this year would be if you have a good range of pricing. So if you're somebody that says, oh, I have things right down from a few dollars right the way up to whatever your upper limit is. So if you have a good range of products and you make sure that you have quite a few low and medium, because at the end of the day, shoppers like to buy things online. And if you make it easy for them, quick purchase, little pack of cards, something small and easy to mail out, easy for you to manage and really easy for your customer to buy. And ideally buy again and again, and again, right? Because we do love a repeat customer. Reason number five, if you have something a bit unusual that you know, because you've done some research that people are already looking for, because let's face it, like Etsy is a big marketplace and there's a lot of people on there. There's also going to be a lot of competitors. And if what you do is very similar to hundreds or thousands of other people, it's going to be really difficult for you to stand out. So if you do something that's a bit quirky, that's either on trend or you know has a group or section of people that are desperately looking for this particular product or this particular niche, then that's another reason why you'd want to start out on Etsy. Reason number six, Etsy costs virtually nothing to set up. 
All right, so if you like to compare it to setting up shop on Etsy, which is just a few cent or pence for a listing, compared to building a website, which can run into the thousands of pounds or dollars, all right, depending on what sort of site, even if you take something basic, it's still gonna cost you a certain amount every month to keep that site up there. And then there's the design and the bills and all of the things. So actually you can get started from next to nothing. And don't forget to check out the link below this video where I give you 40 free listings. So that's only for somebody who hasn't set up yet. So if you're watching this video and by the end you think, do you know what? I think an Etsy store would be exactly what I'm looking for. And if you want to get going and you haven't signed up and you're brand new to Etsy, check out the link below and you'll get the first 40 listings free. What a great place to start, okay? Number seven, of course, Etsy is what we call a marketplace, i.e. people already know about it and they're flocking there in their droves and they're looking for things. They're searching, they're saving, and they are shopping. So therefore, by having a shop there, you're already putting yourself in front of your potential customers. And the difference between that and setting up your website, which is floating out there in the ether, and unless you are a marketing guru and you have a gazillion ways to send people to your website, Putting yourself on a marketplace of any sort is a smart move. Reason number eight, Etsy seller tools are really quick and easy to use. All right, so it's really easy for you to upload images, for you to title and add the description. And once you've created a few listings, you can then put them in collections, you could have featured, like all the tools for setting up are really easy to use. There are many, many benefits to having a store as well, which I'll talk about in another video. But right now, this would be a reason to start out. It's easy to use. Reason number nine, you wanna start your Etsy store in 2022 or any other year that you might be watching this in, and that is as comparatively low seller fees. Now this is something that gets talked about all the time. It get whinged and moaned about out here on YouTube and no doubt other places. Etsy seller fees go up, they're too high, all of the things. So let's just dispel that myth straight away. If you are a hobby artist, you're probably not expecting when you put something up for sale, you've made a craft item, an art item, you put it up for sale, and you're perhaps not used to the fact that that platform's gonna take a percentage. When you're building a business, you're building that into the price, your selling price, and you're looking at your profit margin. And Etsy is really low in terms of seller fees. So if you put your artwork or prints or, or some such thing on another platform, you're likely going to be, um, like, that platform is likely gonna be taking at least 30%, if not more, plus a section of the postage and packaging, etc. So actually, Etsy seller fees are around 10 to 20%, depending on the different options that you use. But even if you allow 20% as the highest possible margin, it's still a lot better than 30, all right? So this is a really good thing. So if you're not sure and you're in, sitting in that kind of, well, I'm not really sure if I'm a hobby or a business, don't forget to check out this video where I talk about the difference between being in hobby state and being in business state. Being in business state means you understand your profit margins. You're moving forwards, you're pricing effectively, you're doing all the right things and therefore you're going to expect seller fees on any online platform you're using. And by the way, you set up your own website. If you don't send traffic to that website, you're going to struggle to make any sales. And the way you're likely gonna be doing that is spending money on marketing and ads. So it's kind of, for me, it's sort of, it's either either. You're building a business, you're gonna outlay one way or the other. This is a really good way, I think. And reason number 10, why I think you know, could be really good to open an Etsy store right now, is that you can now add a third party production partner. So for example, you've created some artwork, you want to sell it onto t-shirts, or you just wanna sell art prints, or you wanna put it onto products, and you don't want to have to deal with inventory yourself, then you can connect to a third party print on demand site, and then they will fulfill the order for you. So you'd set up the third party site, you'd link it to Etsy, you'd put the listing out on Etsy, people would click to buy that, and it would be fulfilled by the third party production partner. Pretty cool. Now I think for a lot of people when they first started their Etsy store, this was not an option. All right, so this is a really useful tool for us artists and creatives to be able to do. 
because I don't know about you, I don't really want piles of inventory at home or in my studio. I don't want to outlay it, I don't want to deal with it, I don't want to have to mail it, all right? So by using another company to do that, that means that you can sell globally and you can, you can build a business that works really well for you no matter where you are in the world. All right, so as I promised, here are the three biggest reasons I reckon why you should not, and I repeat that, why you should not open an Etsy shop this year. Number one, you only sell high priced original artwork. You know, listen, there are lots and lots of online art galleries that you can submit your work to or upload your work to and sell through them. And they're going to be a better place for you to even if you're going to take even if they're going to take 30, 35 or 40 percent, you're going to price your items accordingly so that you make a profit anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? So you'll be better off placing your original art there. It's not a great place for high priced and you won't find high priced original art. You'll find medium priced original art perhaps on Etsy and lower price and more prints and products. So that would be reason number one. Reason number two is you really only have a few listings, a few items. So Etsy works best when you have 50 plus and ideally these days at time of shooting around the 200 listings mark. Now before you panic, don't forget your original artwork can be one listing, the prints in various sizes, the products, the different things you can do with one image. You could make one image into 10 listings according to where you perhaps place that piece of artwork. So it may be not so bad after all, but you know it's gonna be up to you. If you have multiple things, if you're that person falling over potential listings like we mentioned earlier, then you'll be fine. But if you're not, you're starting out, you've got a handful of things, then I'm gonna suggest Etsy's not a good investment in your time. And reason number three, you definitely, definitely do not want to open an Etsy store right now if you're not prepared to put in the time, energy and effort it takes to really set up a successful Etsy store. If you say, oh, I really don't have any time, I'm just going to put a few things on there and I'm going to leave it be, then that's probably a waste of your time setting it up in the first place. Because like anything, it is going to take time to create beautiful listings, to put it all up, to do the research, etc., etc. So it's not for you if you're not prepared to put that time and that ongoing time into updating, adding new listings, talking to customers, doing all the things that you need to do, all right? Then it's definitely not for you either. So here we are, we're getting to the end of this video and I hope that you're a lot clearer with whether you should and you definitely are and you're now excited to open your Etsy store or whether you're thinking, no, do you know what? I absolutely know this definitely wasn't for me. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you have an Etsy store, if you're thinking about it. And obviously if you're in that place where you're like, now you're fired up, you wanna get going, then check out the link below and get your 40 free listings because you know what? That's still a massive saving for you and a great place to start. And look out for more upcoming videos, letting you know how to set up the shop, how to optimize your listings and a, and a cool strategy to keep you moving forwards as well. Okay, so thank you so much for watching the video. If you really liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then check out all the other links below this video for other useful resources as well. I've got lots of freebies and things that might be helpful for you whilst you build your profitable art business. All right, keep creative and I'll see you on the next video.